there! Welcome to this week's edition of Morningwood. If you like wood as much as I do, and I know you do, then you're in for a real treat. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to a generous donation from viewers like you, we have a special guest this week. That's right, Mr. Pete Rickman. Pete, why don't you come out and join us? Yeah! So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be building a burn house out of common items that you might find in your own garage. And I'm really excited about it because we have a specialist with us today. That's right, Pete's specialty is using things in unconventional ways. We're gonna get real weird with it today, ladies and gentlemen. Strap yourselves in. Yeah. Thanks, Clarence. We're... Lawrence. Lawrence. You gotta calm down. Everybody's, everybody here, they're either family or close friends. It's all good. That's my brother. That's our dad. I am on. And you're an expert. Like, you know what to do. Let's just keep going. Okay, you ready? Okay, so, what do we have around here, Pete? What are you thinking? Um, nothing. All right, cut, cut. You know what you're doing. Just, just dive right in. Like, forget that the camera's even here. I mean, these people, you cool? Right. Is there anything other than wood that you might suggest trying to build with? Um, if you have some tools, we could use some tools. I, like I don't mean like build, I mean like the material that you want to build the... Obviously uh, we're going to use tools to... Well tell me what to do and I'll no, do I it. Got... Sorry, I need to go. Birdhouse. I have the... What's the problem? The problem is, this guy's a tool. Oh, no. Dad just left. What's funny to me is that you're the one that's actually qualified to be building stuff. Like, I mean, I know what a hammer is called, but that's about it. What the f Are you kidding me? You can't say two fucking words on screen? Maybe we can get him to just smile and nod for the rest of the pilot. That'd be good. Well, one of the producers. I'm ready to build a birdhouse. All right, so once you find your spare wood, you're gonna wanna look at it and try to figure out what you're gonna be able to do with it. Not much. What I like to do when I'm building a, a, work, a birdhouse, take my L tool and, do you have a plan for this? Where, Okay, so here's the deal. He came referred really well, but none of us had actually met him. And I had no idea. Like, he's like quiet in front of the camera. Yeah, it's, a, it's a little weird. I don't like yeah. it, I just wanna... Mm. Yeah. Oh, he's got that thousand yard stare. Did you, did you hear him talking to himself while he was in the bathroom? No. You about ready? Yeah. Who are you, uh, are you on the phone? With who? So that's part of the. F what were you saying? I was on the phone. Weren't you? You said who are you on the phone with, right? Yeah. No, he didn't say. He wasn't asking who you're on the phone with. He's saying maybe you're on the phone. I don't really see why that matters. That's just. Who who do you think I was on the phone with though? I I have no idea. That's why I was asking. Who was I supposed to be on the phone with? You were obviously talking to somebody. No, you were playing. No, you were saying. You guys were all talking about something. See, we thought you were saying something because he was saying, Who, "Who's? When's he getting home?" Now, what could you use instead of a nail? If you happen to have something, Let's say you say, don't have any nails. Um, hot glue. You could use a hot glue. You, you, you could use screws. Like, uh, if you are going to use a screw, use, you need um, to pre drip. Uh, Hot glue. Like you said. Don't say like I said. You want the bird to be at home. That's right, we want the bird to feel like they're at home. You know, it doesn't have to look like a traditional house. We're not going gothic, we're not going Greek, nothing like that. We're not going for a Midwestern That's feel. True. What we're worried about is, is the bird gonna be able to make it in and out of the house? And is there gonna be enough room inside for the bird? You want your bird, mm -hmm. is it? Is it gonna have the right bathroom? Is it gonna have uh, the right food cabinet? 
something. I don't know. What were you saying about the phone call earlier? All right, Pete. I'm tired of this shit. I don't know where you came from, but you are not gonna ruin this shit. Fuck with this you. Fuck you. Stop the. All right. Um. I I feel like I overreacted a little bit. I want to do apologize to you for putting you in a chokehold. <laughs> but at the time, I honestly felt like that was the best thing to do. We're good though. Like we can move on and finish this thing. We good? Fuck you. Hey. Fuck you. I'm gonna use this metal straight. Fucking Jesus. Cannot kill no, me and this guy, we're done. Like, professionally, we're done. Working with a bunch of fucking ass clowns. The show is done, as far as I'm concerned. It hasn't even started, and it's fucking done. We got the money for the pilot. We got it. You ready? The... Okay, so Pete, why don't you explain to our folks at home exactly what we're doing right now? Now, Pete, why don't you explain to our viewers at home exactly what it is that we're doing right now? Pete, why don't you go ahead and explain to the folks at home exactly what it is you're doing right now? How are your wings? My eye hurts. And look, seriously, you swung at me first, so... You did. You need to stop complaining. Live, laugh, love, cry. It is all mind games. Did you just try to punch me again? If I tried to punch you, you wouldn't know. Quit trying to punch me. All right, so we decided that we were gonna go blow off a little steam, try to let Pete calm down and get his shit together. So hopefully we're gonna be able to finish this shit finally. I mean, I fucking hope so. <laughs> It's about professionalism, you know what I mean? You expect a certain level of like, at least everybody acting like they're on the same team, everybody wanting to get shit done, but when somebody is like literally throwing a wrench in the machine. Did you take all the lights off? Did you turn off the lights before we left? No. Uh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Pete? Hey buddy, how about that birdhouse? What the fuck? Is that a trip one? Pete? Pete? Hey, buddy. How about we get down on that birdhouse? Careful. Bird's moving around, man. Nothing in there. Oh, crap. How you doing, man? You feel all right? What you got there? Got a little uh, handgun and a potato peeler. That's not right. You gonna use those on the birdhouse? Oh, oh my god! Lawrence. He shot Lawrence. Son of a bitch. Fucking try to shoot me.
We're about ready. I think he's almost back. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you build a birdhouse out of common household items. For everyone here at Morningwood, I am Lauren Seymour, and this is my special guest, Pete Rickman. Pete, that's funny as Rickman. This is my special guest, Pete Rickman. Pete, stop. And I'd like to thank you all for coming out and watching. God damn it!